Welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. Last time we played as Vijay Bhatia, the security officer, and we managed to escape using the mask driver. At that point we were almost up to the point where we get kicked out of the simulation, so I just went ahead and reset everything. Now, I think I want to play as Riley Yu for the first time. They are a brilliant scientist. Her family connections may have landed her the role of Pythia's director, but her razor-sharp mind and the ability to improvise under pressure allowed her to keep it. Riley can use her psychoscope to unlock Typhon abilities for herself and other Pythias crew members. Key abilities, Mimic Matter, Phantom Genesis, and Mind Jack. I think this is going to be a really interesting character to play. Of course, I'm not going to have those abilities, or at least probably not most of them to begin with, but like Mimic Matter, I'm pretty sure that's do the, the Mimic thing of basically become practically any item that you want. And again, those are all sorts of things that I never did in the original Prey. I didn't use any Typhon abilities. So this is going to be really interesting. Oh, their story objective is escape by uploading your consciousness. Whoa. That's... Hmm. I wonder where that's done. This feels too simple, but I wonder if it's done in that chair that's upstairs in Riley's office. That seems like the sort of thing where you do it, but there must be more to it than just that, because that would be pretty easy to get to. It's got to be some sort of complication, you know? All right, let's buy some stuff. Whoa. I just spawned in with Riley. Um, I'll go over my loadout once we get fully into the game, but I just started out and it brought this up instantly. That's different. Pythias Moonbase Simulation, Cosmos Script Troll by Basilisk. For orbital in... Wait. Right, we have new utilities available to us in the simulation, Basilisk said. I don't know if this is related, but... New variables. Environmental hazards, flood, fire, electric, radiation. Corruption level increases faster. Oh, Christ. Massless companion apps. You can now summon a virtual operator or mimics to help you in the sim. Mmm. Check your neuromods page in the transcribe for more information. Known variables. Creature types, location, door states, corruption level, monitor installed, resource locations. Important, the simulation is an extrapolation from the data and interacts with corruption dynamically between resets. Additional data recovery may lead to increased variability. Reaching the end of corruption level 5 at runtimes mean, runtime means you'll be ejected from the simulation. And then some attempt at a face, I think, down here? Robot face or something? I don't know. Okay, so basically the more progress I make, the harder things are going to be. Gotcha. Yes, yeah, so we've looked at environmental hazards. There's like a check the status of environmental hazards on some of the computers. And every time I've looked at that, flood, fire, electric, radiation, it's always been, everything's fine. So it sounds like now they're going to start being not fine. Okay. So I went ahead and spent a huge amount of the money on just the psychostatic cutter. Since we're starting at corruption level 1, I don't think I really need anything fancy by way of weapons other than this. This should be plenty to allow me to get a bunch of weapons and get equipped. And 11 neuromods, a crap ton. That's 11 times 4,000 credits spent on neuromods because those things are permanent. So I figure they're the most important thing to spend your points on. And I also got some chipsets as well. I got the increases maximum psi pool by 50, regenerate psi, and the beefy boy to increase maximum health and stamina regeneration. Okay. Let's spend a bunch of narrow mods. Right, I've spent them all, so I got cyanic aptitude, increased my psi pool by 50. Necropsy allows me to get more organs from Typhon remains. Piloting, just because I feel like every character should have that and it's cheap. And within the Typhon abilities, I've gotten Psychoshock. Execute a direct psychic attack against biological targets for 45 damage and nullify Psy abilities for 10 seconds. That sounds really good. 45 damage is quite a bit. And this one is really interesting and creepy as hell. Phantom Genesis 1. Create a phantom that will fight for you from a human corpse. That sounds terrifying. I want to see what that looks like. Also, the companions that uh, I've been given as the downloadable app things. Summon so Mimic Companion, um, follow you and reveal enemy mimics. Not really that big of a deal. I don't really have, I don't really worry about mimics being hidden too much. Usually not that big of a deal. 
of an operator, they will follow you and carry your belongings. That sounds kind of amazing, because I always run out of space. Also, I noticed something super goofy. Look at down here. Select companion skin. You can put a bucket on your mimic friend. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> That's adorable and weird. Why is this in the game? That is so strange. And you could do similar stuff. Or the operator. This is like mostly, um, I think Prey is published by Bethesda, right? Not made, but published by Bethesda. And I think these are all other games that Bethesda's publish. That one, that one, that one. Yeah, these are all Bethesda games. So just Bethesda game skins for your operator? <laughs> it's so goofy. There's a couple non-game ones. Well, sort of non-game, well, one non-game one, I guess. Save the Typhon. It's got a little mimic on it with a heart. It's pink. Who would want to kill the cute and cuddly Typhon chosen by SGDQ community? I think I want to go with that one. It doesn't cost anything to do that, right? Yeah. Alright, it doesn't cost anything. Let's go with the cutest one, which I think is the witch hat. Spooky. Alright. Check your email in Pythias Labs. Yeah, that was... Uh, that's for uploading your consciousness. Yeah, that's the first place I'm gonna go. So I think I'm gonna cut here, gather a bunch of equipment and stuff on the way to Pythias Labs, go to Riley U's office, and since I am Riley U, I can log into their computer. Module 13. Hello? I'm very sorry you're waking up to this. I have engineering here. They say not to worry. Damage to oxygen systems is minor, and it is going to hold longer than you need. So gravity loss is probably the more annoying bit at the moment, but I'm told you can run a diagnostic that will recalibrate the stabilizers. You'll find the interface behind a hatch in the ceiling. God, this is horrible. Also, yes, the cause was small debris impact. Much less than a centimeter. You're going to be fine. Basilisk out. Such a shitty job. It's not really a, a job, but it's just a sh shitty situation. Looking miserable out here. Anyway, yeah, so as Riley, um, I kind of messed up a bit. I took way more damage than I thought I would, and then I also got, uh, like, bleeding trauma, and I couldn't find anything to heal it. And then I thought I was going to the Pythias Labs, but I accidentally apparently went to the Moonworks, which really has, like, nothing. So, yep, I died. I'm going to reset the simulation when I go back in. Connections. Connection history damaged or corrupt. This may be a result of administrator use. Sensitive data protection clause, blah blah blah. Diagnostic. Okay, Teddy. Well, it's just a bit cold. Space is cold, business is cold. He signed up for this. He's a hacker. It's not like he picked a safe job, right? So he's probably lived twice as long working for us as he would have otherwise. I suppose. He has a family, yes? At least their future will be decent. That's right. And thanks to Module 13, they're going to be fine. Which is what he would... What he wanted all along. Come on now. You think deep down he doesn't already know? I suppose. You're probably right. Right. So you're good? You can handle this? Yes. I'm good. You're right. Brilliant. I knew you were the right handler. Let me grab you something to eat. Turkey? Double provolone? Yes, right. Okay, thanks. What is... 
Test, test. Is this on? Module 13. Hello? Mm. Mm? So obviously something more is going on. I like how they're unraveling this... This... I don't know if this is the side story or the main story. I guess this is the main story and everything in the simulation is the side story, although it sounds like they may be more connected than we thought. Something about this character's family and think he doesn't already know. What, are they dead? But he, they said that they're safe thanks to... Was it Module 13, which is what this is? What, did they die on the moon base or something? And their, like, consciousnesses are just saved or something? I don't know. Gravity offline normalized, yes. Oh, gravity detected. Hope this isn't gonna hurt. Oh, that is a far drop. Oof. Okay. Right. Everything's fine. We'll just go back to work. Attempt number two with Riley Yu. I also bought some more neuromods. Let's get Mindjack 1. Force biological enemies to end hostilities and fight for you up to 20 seconds. Also frees humans from Typhon mind control. I'm scared of the thought of what would happen if you freed a human from Typhon mind control. I mean, they're always right next to a bunch of other mind controlled humans and the, the whatever the main creature itself is called. So wouldn't, it, wouldn't they just instantly get killed when they wake up? Let's also increase the effectiveness of Psy Hypos by 50%, because I've got a lot of Psy. Oh, let's also summon a companion. Oh, it's so cute! Hey, buddy. Oh, Cosmo Orders. I installed 50 Neuromods across all five crew members. When I first saw that goal, it looked like so many, but actually it's really not, is it? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Ooh, we got a couple phantoms down there. Okay, um... What can I do to fight them? I can... Oh, I can mind check one of them. They are biological, right? I mean, that's anything but a robot, basically. So I could do direct damage, I could mind jack one, which I think would be very good. Uh, oh. Is there a body next to me? No. Let's mind jack. That is really cool. That is very useful. I mean, not only do you, you take away an enemy from yourself and... Well, it does multiple things. If you have multiple enemies, it takes away an enemy from yourself, so you stop being attacked by one enemy, and you also gain basically more combat effectiveness because you have somebody fighting on your behalf, but also at the same time, they serve as a distraction to the other enemies, and also they're probably going to get killed by the other enemies, so it's also, it's, it's like a bunch of things rolled into one. Distracting them uh, sort of basically kills them, so it sort of does damage to them. That is very useful, and not very expensive either. Like, the cooldown on that's pretty cheap. It's, what is it, 25 Psy or something like that? Can I do that on a moon shark? Can I just mind jack the moon shark? Oh, hello. I didn't realize this stuff, this thing had stuff. Anyway, um, let's try it on the moon shark. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Okay. 
it's now my friend. Or, hmm, it was my friend. I think maybe now it isn't. Typhon material detected. Yeah, it looks like it only stays mind jacked until it goes underneath the ground for some reason. Because it should have. Because it should have lasted long enough. Detected. But it kind of works. Okay, to get into Pythias Labs, I need to kill this telepath. It's in the way. What would be the best way to do that? Obviously, I'm not going to melee it to death. MP charge wouldn't work. Glue charge? Maybe. Um. I could just Psychoshock it. Uh-oh. Hold on, maybe... Could the Moonshark attack it in the air? Ooh, resisted. That didn't do much damage. That's not good. Could try to pistol it to death. I could try to find a body and use that terrifying ability to turn them into, like, a fighter for me. Oh shit, this is raw ground. No! Where's the dead body when you need it? Hold on, um... I yeah, just keep psychoshocking it. Certainly it's not terribly effective, but it's not completely ineffective. Come on, give me the ability back. Do I even need to kill it anymore? It's so far away. ability to harvest more stuff from Typhons, I can get so many things. Wait, so the shark can... the shark just hurt me through the gate. Please stand clear of wow. Okay, well, now I know. So this is Typhon Containment. There's some interesting stuff going on in here. I want to see what happens when I mind jack one of these people. What are they going to do? Run away? Oh, they just go unconscious. Okay, yeah, that's fair enough. Can I mind jack the telepath? I don't think so. No, it seems to be protected. Finally, we are in our office. I just got a bunch of neural mods, by the way, and I also got a chipset that's really damn good for this character. Uh, there's, there's my chipsets. Aggressor increases the damage of all psi attacks. 
Let's get Psionic Aptitude at 2, increases your Psy Pool by 50. And let's also... Let's get Psychoshock 2. So it looks like the text here for how much damage it does takes into account the chipset that increases Psy damage, hence why it's an uneven number. Like, I think before this was 45, and now it's 54, something like that. So this one's going to up it to 79, and it's going to last... The Psy Nullifying Ability is going to last for 15 seconds. That's going to be damn good. By the way, I just dumped a bunch of my stuff out here, because I'm running out of space. But then I just remembered, don't I have a companion specifically for that? Virtual Neural Software Version 1.0 Loaded Render Mesh Signs Operator Underscore Alt Dot OBJ Voice Synthesis File Not Found Using Simple TTS Autonomy Setting 1.2 Uh oh <laughs> It's a- It's adorable Okay, thank you friend <laughs> I'm I'm just assuming when I summon it again it'll still have the inventory. I'm almost sure it will. It'd be ridiculous if it didn't. Okay, now we can finally use our workstation. I know the password. It is defect bot hits the jackpot. Okay. Secure communication channels. Riley, things on Talos 1 are becoming untenable. It's time to set contingencies we've discussed into motion. I need you to copy everything you've got onto the vault operator I sent you. The research, connectones, everything. Morgan was right. The Typhon are all linked. Which means whatever's happening up here will likely spread to you. If it hasn't already. And this should go without saying that we keep the board out of the loop on this. They'll find out soon enough anyway. Get it done. We'll talk again soon. Oh, and Riley, be careful. I'm fairly certain you've got at least one Chasma mole working for you. Place the data vault operator on the docking station. So here's what I'm thinking about the Cosma mole. We already... We already knew about the Cosmo Mole a little bit ago, but now, given what we know about the Cosmo Mole, or at least just their existence, plus what we heard when we were outside of the simulation, that conversation that we weren't supposed to hear, I think it was between Teddy and, and Basilisk. So, so I'm probably the Cosmo Mole, right? But does that mean I probably died? I was the Cosmo Mole, I died on there. And now even though I'm going through this simulation, perhaps I am a simulation myself. Maybe I'm being simulated. Maybe we're a couple simulation levels deep. That's my current working hypothesis. Yes, we can finally open volunteer cell number three. Really curious what's in there. I know there's neuromods, I remember that. And that also a body. From Alex to me. Urgent, Riley, we need to talk. Do not call, I will call you. Open a secure channel first. Oh. Okay, that's Attention, already did it. Everyone. Brain emulation from Morgan You. Hey Riley, following up. Trust me, the emulation process I used is perfectly safe. I have the prototypes to prove it. Maybe I'll introduce you. I named them after the month I made them. December at all. Pythias is already set up to support the tech more. Always scares me. Pythias is already set up to support the tech more or less. All you'll need is the right operator to host. I'll be inaccessible for a while, but I'll check back with you later. Typhon Gate report. Alex, I'm writing to inform you my team has developed an updated Typhon Gate that will function properly with the power profiles of Talos 1. There is a shipment of chloride trifluoride launching at 0400, and the first Typhon Gate will be in the same container, labeled on the manifest as Static Decontamination Components. 
My people will walk Dr. Kelstrip through installation. There is still an outstanding issue that causes the gate to deactivate if subjected to a strong electromagnetic discharge. Please give my best to Morgan. Okay. I think that's it for, for that. By the way, something I've only just very recently noticed is look at the weapon that I have. Look at, like, right above the actual hand. You see that little piston thing pushing in and out? That is so cool looking. That is unbelievably cool looking. That little, like, sci-fi energy piston. It's like it's letting out not necessarily heat, but some sort of magic gas. Alright, while well, I was waiting for Alex to stop talking, I went up here and looted everything. Everything except this. That is part of a quest, right? What exactly are we doing with it? I've got so many escape object objectives. Place the data vault operator on the docking station. Data transfer? Mm, yeah, do it. Subject. Phantoms created from Project Genesis. Subject displays extreme ag aggression. Psychoscope data missing. I don't entirely understand what that means. Uh, I'll check that in a second, though. Project Genesis. We have compiled data from Project Genesis, but results are just... Oh, we already read this from the other... Yeah, we read this from the other side. Or maybe from here. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, so what do I need? I need an ability. Test fire. Phantom Genesis 2. I ran into a problem. Part of the data is missing and corrupted, so the copy operation halted. I'll have to retrieve the data myself, which means repeating a very dangerous experiment in the wild. Weaver specimens are held in the Typhon containment area of the labs and can be scanned for the Phantom Genesis 2 ability. Okay, so it comes from Weavers. I thought I, I thought I already scanned Weavers. Hmm. I wonder if all the different levels of Weaver, when the corruption increases, are considered distinct entities that can all be separately scanned. Regardless, um, we should head down there anyway, not just to scan that, but also to look what's in Volunteer Cell Number Three that we just unlocked. Okay, hold on. I am getting attacked by a poltergeist. Let's try my phantom genesis. Create a phantom that will fight for you from a human corpse. There's lots of corpses around here. I don't know if they'll be able to do it because the the uh, thing is invisible, but let's go for it. Oh god, what have I done? Oh, does it literally turn it into a phantom? He even has the human name still. No, you don't. Did I kill it? I don't think so. Oh, I think I found it. Yes! Come on, you can do it! You can do it! Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, Jesus! Christ, I thought it was attacking me for a second. It's just friendly fire. Oh! Thanks so much! Wow! That's really creepy, but also... I mean, once you get used to them, they're nice. It's just the whole transformation thing that's kind of in really bad taste. Anyway, what the heck was I doing? Oh, right. Volunteer cell free. I wonder if I attack them if they'll start, like, if they'll turn on me. Also, I hope they don't totally ruin my stealth. Oh, God. Uh... 
Um. Attention everyone. We have a very special announcement from our facility director. Volunteer cell three unlock. Yes. Three neuromods. Should probably repair my suit. And Rick Dawson. Huh. I was expecting some sort of like story thing. Like this would be a really, really big thing, but basically just some neural mods and then a couple other small things. Oh well. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return. Gonna head into Typhon Containment, see if I can scan some weavers and get the, what was it, Phantom Genesis 2 ability, so that I can do the story objective for Riley U.